What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Let's get into this. Top of the morning, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlog. Where guys, first of all, if you guys are new to our channel, welcome. Second of all, we'd appreciate if you guys smash that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. It helps out the algorithms. Guys, Big Al's Barber Channel is here to help you get better at barbering by me sharing what I go through every single day here at my shop. Um, today is Monday. No, my Monday, your Thursday, which is Thursday. Um, headed to the shop right now. It's extra early this morning. Uh, right now it's about 7:20. Uh, normally I don't start till nine o'clock on on Thursdays, but uh, one of my VIPs called me yesterday. He told me he's going out of town, and he wanted me to come in and do his hair extra early. So hour and a half before we even opened the shop and I told him no problem. He wanted seven o'clock, I told him no problem, but he said, hey, we could do 7.30 instead. I'm all right, that sounds good, man. That sounds better. Um, you know, I told him, of course I mentioned to him, I go, oh yeah, for sure, I know I know you'll take care of me. He go, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So I know he's gonna hook it up. Um, so I'm headed to the shop. The remodel is on, guys, as, as planned. I, I know I, my last video, I explained to you guys how I hurt myself on Sunday. I don't know what the hell I did, guys. I don't know, I, I, but I fell on my chest, and oh my God, guys, oh, this whole last two days has been nothing but pain. Not incredible pain, but first it started off up here, and now it's kind of like below my ribs can't really take a whole deep breath of air in yet so i don't know something I, I fucked myself up guys i know i screwed myself up a little bit but today i feel 10 times better than i did yesterday yesterday i felt 10 times worse than i did on tuesday <laughs> and uh tuesday i felt you know monday monday i went to work i was okay i was not like beat up but when i woke up tuesday i felt I felt weird, you know, and then then to top it off, Tuesday morning at seven o'clock in the morning, the Lowe's called and they're deliver delivering my tile, so I had to hurry over to the shop uh, to get it. And of course, when they drop off tile, they don't take it inside; they leave it for you outside. So we had to move it from outside to inside. Luckily, I have a lot of strong men in my family, so they all showed up and helped me put it inside. I really didn't have to do that much that day. Uh, but there was still a lot of things that needed to be done, you know. I needed to go empty out my trailer, get my trailer, bring it over here, take some of the stuff that we have inside our shop and take it to my house so that Saturday when we empty out the shop, it won't be so cluttered, you know. I took out a lot of the stuff that 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 just kind of sits around, like the extra two stations, the extra two machine, the extra two uh, uh, um, chairs. So um, we got all that out of the shop. And then yesterday, I, I managed to get enough energy to come over and start. You know, that same night, I actually prepped the wall. Yesterday, I came back and I, I and I painted a wall, painted another wall, moved the cabinet that I needed to move over. So actually, I got a lot done, guys. And a little bit of pain, but you know, I, I know the difference between an injury and a hurt. I just hurt myself. I don't think I injured myself. If I injured myself, I'd be going to the hospital. Some of you guys said I should have went and got a chest cavity or x-ray. Maybe I should have. But, you know, like, what are they going to do? Even if you broke a rib, you know if you break a rib, they, there's nothing they can do for you. All they're doing is going to drug you up and, and send you home. They're not going to really, there's no medical procedure for a broken rib. A broken rib has to rip, really has to heal itself. So, it's funny that I mentioned it to my brother, though. My brother had the same thing happen to him maybe two months ago he went fishing to mammoth and he was in mammoth and he was fishing and um what happened is he uh he uh, uh he, he landed the wrong way he fell down the same thing and he hurt himself so he must run in the family but i'm here now my my client is here now let me get started on this day and then we'll see what's up okay boys i'm here at the shop already really did that early morning haircut 
Not bad, guys. He hooked me up. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks for one haircut. Can't beat that. Let me show you what's going to go going on right here, guys. So we got the tile all inside now. They brought it on Tuesday. Let me show you the floor color it's gonna be. What do you guys think? It's gonna be like gray floors, gray wood floors. It's gonna look nice. I really like this pattern. So, um, we got this station out of here. Yes, on on Wednesday, Tuesday, we got the last station on the other corner. So all we have is the stations that are working. We have four barbers working. So the four barbers, these four stations, one on on Saturday after Saturdays, you're gonna see everything going on, guys. Saturday, when I get out, when we get, when we're done working, everybody's gonna have to put all their stuff on top away and um, everything. These stations are going to go inside my trailer. I'm going to put these inside my trailer and these chairs. They should all fit in there. I have a 14-foot box trailer. But let me show you guys what I did over here. So we took out the retail center, took out the board. I'm going to get rid of that. I think I'm going to get a smaller bulletin board. That way I can put my, save my money and put it right here in this little section right here. That way I have all this for some kind of a picture or something. So the white on there right now is because I had holes on there. So I got to sand that down and I'm going to repaint this wall so that it all matches up. And then what we did is we moved. If you guys remember, the this display cabinet was right here before. So what we did is we moved it over three feet, moved the cabinet. That's why those holes are right there because I moved the cabinet over, repainted that wall yesterday, and painted this wall black. And the reason why this wall is black is because we got black shelving we're going to put right here. We're going to put like three big shelves right here so that we can put uh, gels, merchandise, and stuff like that. And what we're going to do is get rid of this cabinet. We're going to get rid of this cabinet, and we're going to buy a big black desk. That's going to It's like a reception desk. And um, we're going to try to do is have it, uh, uh, the front of it, we're going to have our logo put on it so that it looks real professional. And I think we're going to keep this little corner thing right here on the, so we can put it on the side of the desk. Because the desk that we're getting is the same exact size as this. So we're thinking we're going to keep this. I hope we could keep this little thing for the gels also. So it's going to be like our little retail center right here in the corner. Uh, we eliminated one station, which I didn't really want to do, but it's still, it's better, guys. And we don't really need six stations, seven stations. Um, that... ATM machine is going to get moved over here to this corner right here. So it's going to be right next to the register. And from here, from here, all the way down and to the right, is going to be one long sectional couch that we're going to have custom made. I need to call them so they could get on making that too. Um, so it's still, you know, that's going to probably take a couple of weeks to build. So we're still going to be a few weeks from getting done. But by next week, we should have the floors done. Which is the bad part. Guys, if you think these floors aren't bad, they are bad. Look at this. It's not even smooth. It's not. There's like, there's, they're different. They're, some are, are sunken in, some are higher. It just wasn't done properly. So I'm hoping, wishing, and praying that this time, that this time that they do the work the right way, you know, because when it's not done the right way, that's, this is what happens, you know. You have to redo it. Five years from now again, and which is ridiculous, guys. I'm like, last time I did the floors, I was thinking like, oh man, I'll do the floors. I don't have to do them for 20 more years. It only lasted five years, and that's because I went the cheap route. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to pay high labor. I went with the lowest labor, and when you pay for the lowest labor, guys, you get the lowest. It's kind of like haircuts. You know, you go to a cheap spot. You're going to get a cheap haircut. You go to a better spot, you're going to get a better spot, a better haircut. So it, it, it works both ways. It was a lesson learned. Valuable, expensive, cost me five Gs to put this this thing in here on the floor. But, you know, this time I'm paying 10. Put it that way. I'm paying six for the labor. No, I'm paying eight. Six for the labor and I pay two for the for the tile. So, so you know, I mean, it's still a little bit more, but hopefully it gets done right. And these people I have already worked with. They actually did my mom's house. We tiled my mom, mom's whole house. They did a great job. So I'm hoping that it happens again here. So wishing and praying, guys. You never know. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit in here. I'm going to try to get a little bit of the sanding done. I got to paint this wall right here. So I'm going to try to do that today throughout the day while I'm working because uh, I really don't, I don't have too many appointments. So I think it's just a good idea to get this thing going. So what do you guys think about the black wall itself? I think the black wall came out nice. I think it's going to look nice. Once I get the shelving in there and everything, it's going to look pretty good. 
now I'm starting to second guess keeping the bobbleheads a little bit. Maybe I should have got rid of them. But you know what? If I do decide to get rid of them later, I could get rid of them. It'll be easy, easy fix. Just get those off of there, and I have to fix that wall. But so far, so good, guys. It's going real good, and uh, we'll see what's up. Right now, I'm at Lowe's Home Improvement. I need to buy a few things that I need to finish my wall. Uh, want it to look nice, so those holes that I patched up, they're too smooth because my, my wall has texture. So I gotta buy me some, um, some, uh, uh, what do they call that? Drop down, you put it on the wall so that it doesn't look smooth. Texture, drop down texture, it's a bottle, you spray it on. I did it yesterday on my other wall, it came out really good. So I kind of want it to blend in before I paint it. So here I am. Okay guys, picked up what I needed. Went to the house. I forgot I had to send out a shirt today. Shout out to Jeff Meek for ordering, supporting the channel. Truly appreciate it. He bought one of our Big Al's Barbershop logo tees. Shipping it out to him right now. Guys, remember, if you guys want to order any one of our teas, we have several teas on our sh on our shop to help you promote yourself as a barber or just rock a nice Big Alice Barbershop logo shirt, guys. So much appreciate your support. Uh, you know, Big Alice Barber Channel is here to help you guys. And uh, when you guys help me out like this, hey, it's great, guys. You know, it goes both ways, guys. goes both ways. I appreciate it very much. So I'm gonna stop at the post office, drop that off, and then I'm gonna go back and uh, supposedly there's somebody waiting for me there. He didn't book an appointment, so he's bad. I guess he's gonna wait there. I'm just gonna stop and drop this off at the post office and then I'm gonna head over there. I already picked up lunch. So far it's been a pretty good day, guys. I, I, I've been relatively busy. Plus you guys already know I started off with a $100 haircut this morning, so uh, right off the bat, that starts off a good day. All right, guys. I got that corner painted. As you guys can see, remember I told you I was gonna spray new texture. Spray new texture, that way it blends in. See right here, you can see the other white spots a little bit still. I gotta go over it again, right there. Well, I'm gonna be staring at this wall all the time, so I wanna make sure it looks good. So I gotta paint this wall right now before I go home, so. Take you guys along for the ride. Right, it's coming along, guys. It's coming along. I just gotta do this bottom part right now and just match it all up to the top. Top looks good right there. I just finished right there. You can see it's a little bit different. When it dries, it all dries dark blue. I love this backdrop. I love when I take my pictures. The pictures pop. Okay, let me show you guys why I went and bought that. That now I shot the I shot the uh the drop down uh because if you don't, this is what it looks like. See, if you just patch a hole and you don't reshoot the 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 um, God, why am I losing that word? If you lose the 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 uh, the uh, the peel look, you know what I mean? You have to you have to reshoot it because if not, it'll look like a patch, and that's what I don't want. So let me finish this up, and then we'll close this vlog out, and we'll close this vlog out so I can go home. Uh, Super tired, my back's hurting. But you know, even though I hurt myself the other day, guys, the show must go on always. It's the way it is in this life. Remember that, all right? So I'm gonna finish this right here, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll finish the rest of it over there down, farther down. Cause now I kind of want to just paint this whole wall. So I'm almost, I'm, it's almost completely done. So let me just finish this part. All right, guys. That is it for today. I'm gonna show you my progress on my work. Bam. Not bad, huh? Not bad for a barber. Over here, I, I reshot the stucco. No. The drop down so that it covers up that little spot. Looks better than it did. So tomorrow I'll repaint. Tomorrow I'm gonna paint from here all the way down to the ATM machine. And that way at least this wall gets painted. If you guys are wondering why I'm painting before they do the floors, that's why. <laughs> it just makes a big mess, guys. It's better to paint now, and uh, that way at the end, it'll look a lot nicer. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have a guy that's gonna come down here and give me a quote on custom seating. 
Um, so he's gonna measure right here the whole distance. He's gonna start from that where that bench is right there, and it's gonna be a one long bench all the way down, like an L-shaped long bench. The ATM machine is gonna be on this side now. Um, so that's the plan, guys. So it's coming together. Still got a lot of work to do. Um, you guys are noticing that I'm doing the painting. I always do that, guys. I do that because you know what? I don't have the money to have a professional painter come in here and paint. Um, you know, I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy anyway. So even like right now, I'm just butt hurt, injured, and you know, I'm still right here trying to do this. And uh, my back's killing me. But you know what, guys? The show must go on. And right now, we're on a deadline. You know, unfortunately, I got hurt on the week that <laughs> that, that this is all going on. So I gotta just suck it up and, and continue. Because this is a, a major project right here that I'm doing. And I want to make sure that it comes out right and it comes out good. So uh, there's still a lot of painting to do. Um, I'm probably not going to get it all done before they do the tile. Hopefully I want to get this wall done and and that wall leading into the restroom done. If I could get right under the coat right there under the coat rack. If I could get all that done right here, uh, it, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy. I'll be, I'll be content. That way when they come in and do the floors... And then they bring the, the new seating in. Oh, it's gonna look pimps out here, guys. It's gonna look really nice. Plus, and I'm gonna, then I'm gonna wrap the windows outside. I have a bunch of ideas. I'm gonna wrap the windows outside. The new desk we're getting, I wanna have them wrap the front of it and see if they can put our logo on it. And that way when people walk in, that's the first thing they see is Big Al's behind the black wall. And then we have all our, our, our we're gonna have all our, that's gonna be our little merch center right there in the corner right there, so. Uh, it's looking good. It's looking good right now. So I'm really content with, with the progress that I've made, even though I kind of screwed myself up. So, like I said, guys, the show must go on. The show must go on. All right, guys. With that being said, that's it for this vlog. I didn't record no haircuts. Um, just God, my, my mind's in other things right now, so I'm not even going to worry about that. So, uh, uh, but you know, I'm taking you guys along with this so you guys can see what it's like when you're an owner, you know, when you're an owner, guys, you know, like, you got to step it up yourself, like, you saw this morning, I've been here since 7 this morning, right now, it's already 6.15, I still barely going to go home, so, you know, it, it's one of those days, you just got to, you got to grind through it, and got to keep going, even though it might be a little bit, a little bit hurt, you still got to keep doing, you got to, you got to grind through it, if not, it's not going to get done, but with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching, a little bit long vlog guys i appreciate it. if you guys see the progress it's it's coming along guys I'm, I'm happy i'm content i'm glad i'm going home i'm going home happy so with that being said see you guys mañana grind on